बेटा दिस इज ए ग्रैंड पेपर फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी वन लिस्ट वन एंड लिस्ट टू इज गिवन हियर एंड इन दिस लिस्ट वन एंड टू Uh, they have given the compound on the one list and oxidation state of the nitrogen. See oxidation state of the nitrogen on other list. Just we have to go with a uh, correct code given below. But you know NaN3 means we know this is a NaN3 sodium azide. Oxidation number of nitrogen. But it can be written in the ionic form as a N3 minus. N3 minus means you know it is a 3x equal to minus one. X equal to minus one by three. For this Na Na N three, the nitrogen atom is having its oxidation number as a minus one by three. Third one is correct. Then N two H two. You can see, but N two H two we can say in this way. Find out the oxidation number of nitrogen. So taken as a two X plus two hydrogen oxidation number plus one equal to zero. Two X plus two equal to zero. Two X equal to minus two. X equal to minus one. So for B, it is a fourth option is correct. Then NO oxygen is minus two. Obviously, nitrogen is plus two. Second option correct. N two O five nitrogen is in plus five state. Three four two five check the option. Three four two five is for A it is minus one by three. For B it is minus one. For C it is plus two. For D it is plus five. Now here, that means we can say, uh, I mean plus five means it is the first option. Three, four, two, one. That is option A is correct here. Question number fifty-two. You can see question number fifty-two coming from electrochemistry. This is a question we are getting from electrochemistry. Three Faradays of electricity was passed through an aqueous solution of iron to bromide. The mass of the iron deposited at the cathode is. But we are having two two method here. See, iron to bromide means valency of F is plus two. If any metal is having this valency, so that many number of the Faraday it will require to deposit its one mole. As the F is having plus two, so it will require two Faraday of the current to deposit one mole of iron, right? So I should say two Faraday will require will deposit one mole of F. Do you know atomic mass of F is fifty six gram? So two Faraday can deposit one mole of F. Two Faraday can deposit fifty six gram of F. Then three Faraday can deposit x gram of F. X is equal to fifty six into three Faraday by two Faraday. F F get cancel. Two twos are four. Two eights are three eight twenty four. Three two six seven eight eighty four gram. Option B is correct here. Then come for the question number fifty three. This question is coming from equilibrium part. Coming from equilibrium part, uh, let me discuss with you this equilibrium part. Very important question is there. It is a non-equilibrium process. Is there a plus b gives rise to product? The rate is first order with respect to a and second order with respect to b. If one mole each of a and b introduced into the one liter vessel, and initial rate was ten to the power of minus two mole per liter. Rate when half of the reactant was turned into product. See, the reaction is given in this way: A plus B gives rise to product. Then rate law expression R is equal to K into concentration of A. You can see first order with respect to A means A to the power of one. Second order with respect to B means B to the power of one. And one mole each of A and B introduced into the one liter vessel. Initial rate will be taken as a ten to the power of minus two mole per liter. So I'll write this one condition given. That one I will write. Uh, condition given in that the rate is given. 
टेन टू द पावर ऑफ माइनस टू इक्वल टू के इन टू वन मोल ऑफ ए टू द पावर ऑफ वन वन मोल ऑफ बी टू द पावर ऑफ वन दिस इज इक्वेशन वन दे आर आस्किंग रेट वेन हाफ ऑफ द रिएक्टन हैज हैव बीन टर्न इन टू प्रोडक्ट देन आई शुड लेट अनादर इक्वेशन हाफ ऑफ बी टर्न इन टू प्रोडक्ट मीन्स इट इज बिकम ए बाय टू टू द पावर ऑफ वन बी बाय टू टू द पावर ऑफ वन and this is a rate you have to find out equation 2 so better beta by dividing equation 2 by 1 so what is the second equation we have r equal to k but we are having a to the power of 1 into 1 by 2 to the power of 1 b to the power of 1 1 by 2 to the power of 1 one second beta i'll write this one on another page I'll write this one on my another page. See here, rate law expression we got R equal to K into concentration of A to the power of one B to the power of one. Now rate become ten to the power of minus two when the A one mole of A was introduced, one mole of B was introduced. Now what is the rate if the concentration is half? If the concentration is half, so by dividing equation two by one, R is equal to K into. But a to the power of one by two can be written as concentration of a to the power of one, one by two to the power of one, b to the power of one, one by two to the power of one, by ten to the power of minus two into K, because it is equation one. And b to the power of one. But here, this is the uh, a to the power of one, b to the power of one. This get cancelled. This get cancelled. Even this get cancelled. What is left with you? We are having only now r is equal to ten to the power of minus two into one by two into one by two one by four. One by four means zero point two five into ten to the power of minus two. That is R is equal to. Check the option. According to option, we have to go. Zero point two five we are having right. So zero point two five means. Zero point two five because we are in ten to the power of minus two. But a B is. Second order, sorry, it is a second order, right? Second order, second order. But here B is a second order. Sorry, but by mistake I did this one. B is a second order. It is second order. It is second order. So what we are getting, but we are getting as a one by eight now, not the one by four. And one by eight means one point two five. But a one point two five. Uh, into ten to the power of minus two. No, but a one by eight. One by eight means zero point one two five into ten power of minus two. That is equal to one point two five into ten power of minus three. This is there in the option. You can see one point two five into ten power of minus three. It is the first option. So, but a first whatever the equation they gave here, I wrote the rate law expression. After writing the rate law expression, what is the given condition? Is there? I wrote, and what they are asking, I wrote. Then two by one, you do. We are able to get the rate. Question number fifty-four now. Reaction when benzaldehyde and acetophone in presence of dilute NaOH is known as. But everybody knows this. This one, it is nothing but the cross aldol condensation. Why? Because Benzyl D eight means it is a, a benzene ring bonded with the carbon double bond O H, but a no alpha hydrogen atom. Another acetophenone. It is a benzene ring bonded with C double bond O C S three, so it is having a three three alpha hydrogen atom. One of the compound having alpha hydrogen atom, another compound does not have alpha hydrogen atom. It undergoes aldol, but as both the compound are different, so it is called as a cross aldol condensation. And do you know, brother, what is the product obtained by them? 
the product obtained by the benzyl diet with acetophenone is this is the product was obtained ki one of the benzene ring with a bonded with carbon carbon double bonded with carbon bonded with h then it is c double bond o then it is bonded with the benzene ring see with a benzene c double bond o ch3 in that two hydrogen can be attached with this part because from here two hydrogen from here oxygen and we removed one water molecule and we got the product called as a cross aldol product 54 option c is correct question number 55 which of the following alkene alkane cannot be made in good yield by wood reaction beta it's a very simple question you know wood reaction means it is a method or reaction which are we are using to prepare alkane containing even number of carbon alkane alkane containing even number of carbon but a hexane even number butane even number check the one and a and b but a means 2 comma 3 dimethyl butane this is a butane 2 comma 3 means if you'll break from here i'll get this part and this part but a heptane means heptane you know it is a alkane containing odd number of carbon which cannot be prepared by the wood reaction 55 b Question number fifty-six. Now, select the correct statement of one, two, and three for the zero-order kinetics. For the zero-order kinetics, they are asking to get the correct statement, right? Uh, quantity of product form is directly proportional to the time. Yeah, beta. According to Faraday, mass is directly proportional to Q quantity of current. Yes, it is correct. Larger the initial concentration of the reactant, greater is the half life. How about if the initial concentration is zero order, na? But a T half is directly proportional to initial concentration for zero order. So larger the initial concentration, greater the half life. It is also correct for zero order. But a zero order me unitary method is applicable. Unitary method. is applicable for zero order unitary method is applicable for zero order that means 50% reaction take place in 100 minutes but a 50% reaction completed chabi 50% reaction Completed in hundred hundred minutes, seventy five complete percent completed in one fifteen. Correct, but a unitary method only. You can check it. Fifty percent completed in hundred minutes. Then sir, seventy five percent completed in how many minutes? Hundred into seventy five by fifty five ones are five two are seventy by two are one fifty. Yeah, it is correct. So option D is correct, but a one two three and correct. Then question number fifty seven. Fifty-seven. Represent the cell in which of the following reaction take place. Calculate E cell if E naught is given. See, but in this reaction, if you are able to see clearly, here it is a magnesium plus two Ag plus converted into magnesium plus two plus two Ag. But a magnesium oxidation number it is a zero, and in here plus two. So zero to plus two, you know, increase in oxidation number. It undergo oxidation. Silver plus one to zero, it undergo reduction. But the oxidation means it will be at the anode. Reduction means it will be at the cathode, right? And they are asking get the E cell concentration differ. So apply the Nernst equation. See, but the concentration in both the case was differ. Apply the Nernst equation. What is that? E Cell or EMF of the cell equal to E naught minus zero point zero five nine by n into log of concentration of the product 
by concentration of the reactant. But a product reactant, if you don't know, better to write down concentration of the anode electrolyte kept at the anode and concentration of the electrolyte kept at the cathode. So E is equal to E naught. But a E naught value given as a 3.17 volt minus 0.059 by n. N key value what you have to take. You should take the n value too. Why? Because magnesium loses two electron and silver also having plus one into two, two electron. Right into log of concentration of beta electrolyte kept at the anode. Anode means oxidation. And what is electrolyte kept at the anode beta? Magnesium ion. Magnesium plus two ion. And what is oxidation? I mean, concentration of magnesium ion is given. It is given as a 0 0.130 by what is the concentration of silver ion beta? 0 0.0001. And you know, we can solve. But here, uh, E value 3.17 minus 0 0.059 by 2 into log of 0 0.130 by 0 0.0001 to the taken as a square because you know it is a 2 Ag plus ion is there, beta. so to the power of 2. And you solve it, the value which one you are going to get as a 2.96 is the value you will get it. So understood? Oxidation anode, reduction at the cathode. As a concentration are given as a different concentration, apply the Nernst equation and put the value, get the answer. Question number 58. Match the following and identify the correct option here. It's a very simple. You know, this is a question we are getting from, from, from NCRT beta. Why? You can check everything is there in the NCRT. Uh, CO plus H2. It is a synthesis gas. Temporary hardness. Uh, magnesium bicarbonate, calcium bicarbonate. B2H6, electron deficient species 2. H2O2, yes sir, it is a non-planar structure, that is 4. 3, 1, 2, 4. 3, yes, option D is correct here. Question number 59. Question number 59. Predict which of the following reactions has a positive entropy change. But a positive entropy change we want. Uh, but the entropy change, you know, entropy change, positive entropy change means delta S value should be positive. But uh, when it will be positive, you know, when the randomness will increase, entropy will increase. Means we know gas will have more entropy than liquid. And liquid will have more entropy than solid. It is the actual order will be there. Now you can see aqueous, aqueous, solid. But when liquid converted into solid, entropy decreases. That means delta S value become a negative. But a solid converted into gas, obviously entropy increases. That is delta S value because it's solid converting into gas. So solid converting into gas means entropy obviously increasing. But here gas and gas. How many mole of the gas? Two. Here how many mole is there? Four. Two mole gives four mole. Obviously here also entropy increases. Value will be positive. So question number 59. Answer C is correct. Where? Two and three where the entropy will increase. Question number 60. Uh, if the anion A has an hexagonal close pack. But the anion A means A is a negatively charged. It is hexagonal close packing. Z effective for hexagonal close packing is equal to 6. That is equal to 6. Hexagonal close packing. Z effective equal to 6. But a cation is given C. That is a positive. And you know if Z effective is 6 means octahedral void is equal to 6. Tetrahedral void is equal to 12. They say cation C occupied two thirds of OV. So C is present on two-third of OV. OV is six. Three twos are, that is four. General formula of the compound. Obviously, beta C should be four and A should be six. That is two is two, three formula. That means question number 60 may C2A3 
yes sir option c is correct beta here right option c is correct 61 urea with water to form a which will decompose to form b acha urea nh2co nh2 and when we are dissolving it the water it form the c a which will decompose to form the b but a urea with water it gives rise to only co2 gas and nh4oh gas which will decompose to gives rise to b so suppose if i'll say ammonium hydroxide is a a na beta so my ammonium hydroxide when it decomposes it gives rise to b b means i think uh one is a nh3 beta and another one is a water so obviously my ammonia is the base b is here beta b when pass through the cu plus 2 solution b means ammonia beta ammonia when it pass through cu plus 2 solution you know this is a equation was given in our ncert four moles of ammonia one mole of copper ion it gives cu ammonia taken four times plus of two ion and you know it is a color of the solution will be mentioned here as a deep blue color but a 15 group element p block the same reaction was given in our ncert so what is the formula of the c from the following beta this is a cu ammonia taken four times plus two deep blue color so option a is correct here 61 then 62 reaction between acetone and magnesium methyl magnesium chloride what did you use i'll show you beta acetone plus methyl magnesium chloride you know acetone we are writing <coughs> in this way this is the acetone and this is a methyl magnesium uh chloride yeah beta you know it is a grignard reagent in this one this is a r part which is a negatively charged it will attack to the carbonyl carbon pi bond shifted back and we got here ch3 then c then o negative then ch3 and one more ch3 attack on here but here mgcl as a salt will be near to it when you will do the hydrolysis that to be in the acidic medium so we are getting ch3 then c then again we will get ch3 and ch3 and this part is a oh but this alcohol called as a tertiary alcohol 3 degree alcohol 3 degree alcohol means option b is correct beta 62 right 63 now a catalyst catalyst increases rate of reaction by everybody know by decreasing activation energy because activation energy is inversely proportional to rate of the reaction as the rate of reaction increases obviously activation energy must decrease 64 beta 64 atomic number ag ag is 47 in the same group the atomic number of the element place above and below beta if it is 47 so above of it 47 minus 18 you do what will get beta 29 and 47 plus 32 you do beta what will get 79 so 47 minus 18 29 Plus thirty to seventy nine. Option B is correct. What do I mean, Mada? Forty seven minus eighteen you do twenty nine. Forty seven plus thirty two you do seventy nine. Option B is correct. Periodic classification, but a question coming from periodic classification of element sixty five. Which of the following gases atom has the highest value of ionization energy? But it's a direct question, you know, phosphorus because. All the fifteen group element is having NH two and P three half filled P orbital will get more stability, right? Question number sixty six. Identify molecule 